Hi, this is a nice problem. If we understand this problem in circular motion, it's going to help us in our understanding of uniform circular motion, centripetal force, and centripetal acceleration. One thing about circular motion when we deal with speed, if it's a constant speed, we can get that constant speed by taking the circumference of the circle, which is two pi r, and dividing it by the time it takes for one revolution, which we call the period. Now, centripetal acceleration is the speed squared divided by the radius. To get the speed, once again, I'm gonna use this formula for speed up here, so the speed of the child would be 2 times pi times 4 divided by 8.3. And I came up with about 3.0 meters per second. To get our centripetal acceleration, we simply square that speed and divide it by the radius. So 3 squared divided by 9 would give us 9 fours, which would give us a centripetal acceleration of 2.25. Now, centripetal force is equal to the mass times that centripetal acceleration. So it's simply mv squared divided by r. The force of static friction is equal to the coefficient, how smooth or rough, times the normal force, which in this case would be equal to the child's weight, which would be mg. Now, the key to this problem is to realize that the force of static friction must be equal to that centripetal force to keep the child from slipping. So you know that the centripetal force, mv squared over r, is equal to the frictional force, mu mg. So that frictional force must be equal to the centripetal force, which would be 89 newtons. Now, the solve for mu, there's a few ways you can do it. One thing when you should notice is when these guys are set equal to each other, mass is on both sides, so it essentially cancels out. So I can just simply divide by little g to solve for mu. So my speed squared divided by little g, 9.8, times my radius 4 will be equal to 0 0.23. I hope you enjoyed this explanation. I enjoyed giving it to you. I'd appreciate some feedback. You have a great day.